Welcome back to another one. In this video, we're looking at two new options for you. click and ship on USBS.com. The first one up is going to be how to print to a 4x6 shipping label, something we've all been wanting for a while. Other option is how to print later using a QR code at the post office. Now, I'm in stamps.com and the click and ship checking out the new and enhanced options here. So I'm going to click on that. All right. So you're in here checking out all the new features, blah, blah, blah. Go to preferences. Scroll down, print settings, edit. Now before you only had eight and a half by eleven. Now you can print to a label printer. You do a four by six or four by five. Everything's four by six really, so we'll go ahead and set that. But also you have this new option here to print later at a post office. And I believe with this one it gives you a QR code, you take it to the post office, they scan it and print the label for you. But the four by six is what I really care about. So we'll save this option and we'll go ahead and go to label manager, create a new label and one second. Okay. We're back rolling. I'm here. I've already paid for the label and I hate that you have to actually pay for the label before you can see it. They should allow you to be able to preview and do a test print. But anyways, here we go. This is a clip, click and ship label four by six straight to printer. No issues. Finally, you can also change the label format after you purchased. You just have to go back and go to shipping history. Click on the tracking under label. Then on the left side, more actions, we can reprint. So reprint, you have all the same options here. And in your preferences, you can set the print later at post office as your default option, just like the eight and a half or the four by six. Or you can just come into more actions here and select it and you just put your email address. You can have it emailed to you or someone else. It also provides a list of the closest post offices based on the zip code provided for the label. And we'll take a look at what the QR code email looks like here. And here's what the QR code email looks like. At the top we have the zip code, and the three closest post offices, the uh, QR code Looks like it's called a label broker ID and the instructions are below that. All right, I'm going back to the click and ship so I can cancel that label. And since I'm making a video already, I might as well take you along with me. So I've navigated click and ship, shipping history. I'm going to check that. I really don't know if this is the right step. We're figuring this out together. Select action, refund, go. So yeah, if you change your mind about a shipping label for whatever reason, it uh, looks to be pretty straightforward. Refund is pending. And I imagine you will just return here to make sure there's no issues down the line. Well, that's also how you delete it. So that wraps up this video. If you have any questions, do hit me up in the comments below. I am working on another video right now, looking at all the click and ship enhanced features. So we can do a, a, another video talking about what all has changed. Other than that, thank you guys for your likes, comments, and subscribes. Talk to you later.